Hey everyone, continuing with the series about my old found knives after a recent trip home, I found my old uh, childhood pocket knives and again each of these knives is at least 30 years old and perhaps even older than that depending on uh, how old my previous relatives had uh, had them themselves. This one I think is one of the newer ones. I don't particularly remember buying this one or having it bought for me. Um, but I'm guessing this one's probably early 80s in, in uh, knife here. And this one's curious. It's uh, definitely the newer design. It looks like a buck to me. Uh, it has that traditional buck look, in my opinion. It has the lockback design. Um, but I'm not finding a lot of any information about it. It looks like the 110, but it's it's definitely smaller. So you can see the, the length of the clothes size. It's about four inches. It's funny when you're a kid, you, you, know, you have a certain impression of things and like, oh man, this is my big knife. It's such a big knife I had. And when I found it again recently up in um, hidden boxes and all that kind of stuff, uh, I pulled it out like, wow, this thing is small. <laughs> so I, I, it's funny, I remember I had, had uh, this one being very uh, large in size, but it's uh, clearly tiny at this point. So it, I do like the smaller size than compared to the 110. So let's look at it in more detail here. It's, it looks to be a wood scale. It looks to be brass or certainly metal bolster. They look brass to me. I don't know if they are. It's kind of tapped in. It is wood because you can see it split there. Tapped in little nails, two, three, three on each side. And this, I don't recall how this got here, but or maybe it just grew on it, but some weird kind of green thing going there. So this needs a lot of cleanup, has some kind of green goo on it. It still opens just fine. And it has the kind of the traditional, I know it's very shiny, but a drop point blade. And who knows, I don't think this was expensive at all. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. Probably that green stuff causing me to sneeze. So you can see the cutting surface is about two and a half inches. And you've probably already spotted right away, but the stainless steel china. So this is surprising that it's this old and it was made in China. And maybe it was just ultra cheap, but hey, the the knife lasted a while. It's well put together. I didn't beat it up. Fairly thin blade. Points relatively there. And let me focus that back in for you. And the blade is dull, way dull. So it will not even cut paper. And I'm pretty certain that it was mostly always like that. Mostly always. <laughs> so I don't think this is a high quality one, even though it did last for a while. And I think the handle is pretty solid. And the lockback, traditional lockback. All kinds of goo there still. Still very solid. Let's close this up. Give you one more view. Blade is so shiny, so sorry about the reflection. Distortion with the camera lens sensor. So once again, if you have further information about the knife, want to contribute to this effort, please leave a comment. I would be interested in the manufacturer, the model number, when it was made, etc. Thanks for watching.